What was the uh, inspiration behind both Nadine as a character and then just the overall journey that she takes? You know, I, I really, I, it was just, it was interesting to me to explore um, those times in your life when you could feel like everybody has life figured out except you. And I thought that that feeling is particularly prevalent at that age, at 17. I think as you, as you get older, you start to realize that you're, um, what you're going through is a lot of times universal, but at that age, you, you have no idea and it's scary. Can you talk about just the overall casting process and getting all the pieces to come together and making sure their personalities meshed and that sort of thing? Casting process was insane to find to find Ailey. Um, we we went and we auditioned over a thousand girls. I mean, it was a year long process of of having everybody under the sun come in and read and like and you know and it gets to a point where you're just like oh my god it's just it might never happen and then. Um, and then Haley came in and she was just, it was, it was really like the sky opened up. It felt miraculous. It was just, she was, she is such a remarkable talent and she has such an ability to just be alive in every moment. Just the miracle of the exact right and only person to play a part at a point that the part exists. She's staggering. I mean, I really think we've talked about like the actress of her generation, and I really believe mm -hmm. that's true. Did you guys get to discuss the story on script, the characters, kind of their journey, and making sure that everything felt authentic to them as they were depicting these lives? The most important thing is that it sounds authentic and that it feels like it's it's a real thing you're saying. Really, the main mission was always: is it real? Is it real? Is it real? You know, that being the main thing. But the, you know, there were very few lines like that there, that, that had to be changed. It was there. That dialogue that you wrote, especially between um, Woody Harrelson's character and Haley's character, mm -hmm. what was that like seeing that come to life? Oh, God. The minute the two of them, Haley and Woody, got in a room together and started to, started to do the lines, it was, it, was, it was electric. It was fireworks. It was, they were just, you could tell they, they were having a good time, <laughs> you know? Like, which was just so, I mean, it, it, it was just, it was incredible to watch. It was, yeah. What's the opposite of a grind, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was just joy, really. The soundtrack's amazing. Um, mm -hmm. I couldn't stop, especially, I mean, every time a new song came on, you just kind of start moving with it and it mm -hmm. fit the tone. How long did it take to kind of find the right tracks and get everything positioned oh, from a music standpoint? That, that, that was, I mean, that it was, was- her obsession. Was the, yeah, I think, yeah, I think you, you drive yourself absolutely crazy getting that right and I think it's righteous like I really do especially to me that has such a big bearing on on how a scene plays and feels and and a lot of times um, you know the music is ambient so it's something a character is playing so it not only has to be something that that drives the scene forward or works in the scene but something that this character would listen to you know so there are a lot of criteria a lot of times for the music there seemed to be no question in regard to whether you guys were going for a PG-13 or R. Was that conversation ever had in the development process? No, oh, R, 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 that's the only way the character could live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, had to be. Who came up with the animation story towards <laughs> the end? Because that was fantastic. Like, the whole time I'm sitting there, I'm like, there's no way they can live up to these expectations that people have in their heads about how amazing this is going to be. And, <laughs> Sold. David Silverman did the animation, okay. and 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 the, the Kelly scripted um, the, the 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 plot of it. And David Silverman is somebody who's been with The Simpsons forever, and he directed the movie, and he's the greatest guy. And for him to take on the challenge of what he might have done at that age, so I always think that Irwin will grow up to be David Silverman now. <laughs> <laughs>